First mod to the 240, not really. It's just taking out carpet because there's mold. And there's mold due to water getting in the rear. So I'm just gonna take everything out, hopefully dry out the water, maybe put the carpet back in. I don't know, we'll see. It is really late, but this is the first day and I really wanna get this out of the way. As you can see, there is a lot of water down there built up. I'm gonna take everything out, hopefully lay some towels or something. Get this carpet out of the way because it's kind of gross. Or really gross. Let's bring this thing inside and show you guys what's up. Oh my god, it stinks so bad. Oh, mildew. A lot of moisture built up in this thing. Yeah. It's all wetness. I'll let it dry. I don't even know if I want to use this anymore. There's an amp right there. What the hell? It has officially been a week since I've owned this thing and I already have it on jack stands. It's been on for a while now. I am doing a whole bunch of stuff before I get it on the ground. First things first, I'm gonna be putting new springs to the front and moving the front springs to the rear. It's a fairly simple and quick process that you could most likely do at home. Let's take a look at the rear. Last time I showed you guys, it was all wet. Here's where it's at right now. A bit moist still. Maybe a couple more days and it should be all dry. For now this is fine. I still need to access the coilover nuts. That means I'm gonna be climbing on in here and making a mess even more. I'm gonna be starting off with the front. It's literally gonna be only four nuts to take off the coilover. Take a good look at this stretch. You can see some of the barrel. I believe my friend John was running these Falcon tires. This is a 215.35 on a nine and a half. And this looks crazy. And if you're running, these are work CR2P. Nine and a half plus 10. Front coilover is off to the rear. Now I need to get up there somehow. Mm. Oh God. Ooh. The hatch better stay open and not fall on me. Two nuts right here. Here comes the hard part, trying to get this out without dropping it. Oh my God. Please don't drop it. In the last video, I dropped it. Let's try not to do that. Ha <laughs> ha. Right. Got these. Now. Here they are, these are the BC Racing BR coilover. This is a really good coilover, but I think it's a little too soft for me. That is why I am getting these springs from my G, 14K compared to 8K, and I'm gonna put the 8K in the rear. So both of these should be a good amount stiffer than how they are right now. The only thing is, is that this spring is the same size, but it's smaller. I'm not too sure if that makes a difference. I'm still gonna do it, because eventually I'm gonna get different coilovers. I'm just gonna send it. <laughs> this process is fairly simple. This is it all taken apart, front and rear. All you do is swap around the springs and you're good. Technically, it's supposed to only go up by 2K. 
I went up by six because that's all I had. I think it'll work for the time being on the 240. Time to put these things back together and on the car and I'll be ready to go um, for tomorrow. Literally put it back together how it was. Um, boom. Okay. Take a look how much play this has. It's around one to two inches of play. <laughs> All I have to do is raise these rings up and I'm fine. Good to go. Time for preload. Gonna do about seven inches all around. Looks like it's already about there. Gonna make sure that, especially on each side, make sure it's the same or else your height will be a little off and the stiffness will vary from wheel to wheel. Keep an eye on that every so often. My goal today is to get this thing on the ground. When I was adjusting preload all around in the previous video, I found another problem. There was a washer that got completely screwed up. Definitely gonna need to replace that. So what I've done is to go apart the other side so I know what parts I need. I need to replace the cotter pins as well while I'm there. Gonna be going to the auto parts store. Might as well pick up some oil and do the oil change today. After I'm done with all that, I need to address this issue. I can wiggle it in my hand. This is due to the exhaust not even being bolted on. There's literally two studs sticking out and the exhaust is just sitting there with nothing holding it on. Let's go ahead and grab this and head to O'Reilly's. Now we could take my, aw, oh, there's bird poo on it. My trusty oil. It's gonna suck a tiny bit going from the Prius to the 240. I can't go over a whole bunch of bumps anymore. Even though I think the 240 is gonna be such a hassle, I'll most likely like it more. But it'll be worth it, right? <laughs> Got everything. It should let me be able to get the 240 on the ground so I could drive it today. Then focus on the real important stuff other than that. <laughs> Without really a drop on me. Just on my glove a little tiny bit. Hell yeah. While the oil is draining, I can put back together the tie rod. Here's the new washer. It'll go like that. The nut on top of it. Before, there was play like this. Because of the washer, it was like seized up or something. And then it turned into this. There we go. Bam. Wait. <laughs> Yet again, another problem. Since we channel locked this shaft thing, it has an indentation. Gotta sand it. I don't think this will fit. This has to go through the whole thing. And it's not. Oh crap. <laughs> okay. Let's put our new cotter pins to use. I saw our tie rod all figured out. It was just this little washer. Since I did it on the other side, I was like, eh. Might as well do it on this side. That was the last of it. I'm gonna put everything on now and set this thing on the ground after I fill it up with oil. Last thing.
guys, take a look at the exhaust now. Well, that's the hanger, but as you can see before, silent. Right about there was where all the noise was coming from. I tighten it as much as possible, and now it doesn't even budge. 240 is about ready to go on the ground. Don't mind my retainer. This car has been up in the air for like a week now. I just really want to know how the springs change the height. I know it raised it, but I don't know by how much. Let's go ahead and see. It is all on the ground. I'm about to start it up, see how it sounds. I feel like it's out of battery yet. It's out of battery. Completely dead. Hmm. Woo! Hey, nice. Nice. Oh, it sounds quieter. The car is at a reasonably flat surface. I'm checking the height. I think it looks good. This is exactly where I want it. Oh my god. Here's the 240. Yeet. 